So right now I'm going to demo on how to use social social engineering ATX. Choose option number one. Next, choose option number two for website ATX vectors. And then choose option number three. And choose option number two for site cloner. So right now I'm going to copy my machine IP address or my Kali uh, Kali Linux IP address. After you already copy your machine IP address, you need to enter a website URL because we're going to clone uh, this website. So after you already paste your URL, and then you need to copy the IP address and paste it uh, in the web browser uh, this just to check uh, either it's working well or not so uh, right now I'm going to try to sign in so this uh, clone website uh, when we uh, when our victim sign in it just keep refresh and so uh, our victim is not going to detect that this is uh, a hacker or a fake website so this is the username and password so right now i'm going to copy and copy the ip address again And I'm going to paste it uh, in Bitly. I'm using Bitly because to shorten the URL and make it look uh, trusted. So I'm going to copy the uh, new the shorten URL because I'm going to paste it in the mess uh, mess mailer attack or more to mail spoofing. So right now I'm going to choose option number one, uh, single attack, and I'm going to insert uh, my victim's email or any email address that you're going to target. Then you need to choose option number two, open relay. Okay, here from address you need to insert a fake uh, email address so that uh, our victims will see uh, this uh, email address uh, and it looks uh, from a legitimate party so this is why it call uh, is also known as mail spoofing so this is my uh, open release or uh, username and password I'm using SMTP to go as my open relay. Why I'm choosing uh, SMTP to go as my open relay because it's uh, uh, open source and free service for register. So after enter the username of open relay, you need to enter the password, and after that the mail server of SMTP to go. So for the mail, uh, the server, email server, you can get it from the SMTP to go dashboard uh, from your account that you already register with SMTP to go. Next, you need to enter the SMTP server port number. It's also given here. Flag this message as a high priority. That is for you, uh, for us as a, a hacker. So I will put yes, high priority, and then uh, no attached file or inline file. Okay. Next, right now I'm going to enter the email subject. 
and lastly you need to enter the body message so why we need to uh, in this body message you can type any words or sentences that just to make it more, more trusted or uh, to make our victims feel that this email is from a legitimate party okay so uh, next line i will put please update your password here okay in the uh, in next line i'm going to paste the uh, url that already uh, i shortened okay next i will look, I enter admin uitm just to make it more trusted Okay. After the set has finished sending the emails, that means our victims already received the email. So this is how uh, the emails looks like. So when our victims click on the URL, uh, the website that we clone uh, will appear. And if our victims sign in their uh, account, we are going to see their uh, information in the Kali Linux. So here, our victims sign in their account. All right. Next, I'm going to check uh, their information. So this I I will highlight their information and you can see it. 